Hey YouTube, here again with uh, part two of three of a uh, pretty quick somewhat review of Windows 7 build 6801. We're going to take a good look in the control panel in this video and we've got quite a few comments saying that's not Windows 7. Let's look at WinVer, Windows version, Windows 7 Ultimate, expires 7109, 6.59 p.m. So, there we go. Uh, when we open the control panel, uh, it brings you to here. If you click on all control panel items, there's all of your control panel items. Uh, we have something that's new, biometric devices. That would be a fingerprint reader to let you log into Windows instead of, instead of a password. I have a fingerprint reader, but I don't think this is compatible with my fingerprint reader yet. We have something called clear type text tuner. That would be for the clear type that was in Windows Vista and is now in Windows 7. That makes the text on your screen easier to read. Uh, it's pretty much just picture, pixel, shader, and pixel um, orientation and color. Uh, we have a credential manager. It can manage your passwords and stuff in a vault, which is probably pretty good. I haven't really used that yet. Default location, you can get your latitude, longitude, put your zip code in, and your address and stuff. You uh, Device manager, still here, still good. Uh, great if you're messing around with hardware, which I'm always doing. Uh, taking a couple seconds, but it's definitely still there. Windows color calibration. We had something like this in Vista, but this is a little bit different. Uh, it, it's kind of personalized for your display. So I've actually never used this. I will have to definitely play around in here. Um, we've got ease of access center, still have that. Fingerprint sensor, that's from IBM or Lenovo. Don't that you won't have that most likely. Um, location and other sensors. I'm guessing they're gonna start building GPS chips in uh, machines and PCs because they've got this here. So you can look forward to that. Network and sharing center, definitely still here from Vista. A little change from XP uh, still works well. We've got a recovery option here that's pretty much just a link to system restore and shadow copies. Um, text to speech still here. System icons actually, okay, they move. I think you can still do it from down here, but this would be the taskbar. No, you, I guess you can't do it from well, you can in here. Yeah. Anyhow, sorry to get off topic there, but it lets you change your power, your clock, your battery, your sound. You can put those on or off. Workspaces Center. You can create a workspace in Windows, connect that up to a server, which is good. I do not own a server or have access to a server, so I can't really use that. Troubleshooting, that's new. And uh, it, I think I haven't used it. I haven't had any problems putting this on my ThinkPad Z61T. Um, just just links to record sound, uh, show the arrow theme. I don't really know. A lot of new stuff in here, though. That's good. I actually have not been in there yet. I've had this about two weeks. Offline files, they're still here. Personalization, as I mentioned in my first video, if you could please watch that. And then there is a third and then there are two other videos, kind of a final impressions. Um, there are a couple themes here, in, like in previous versions of Windows. One thing I did want to say, I don't think I missed anything new in here. No, okay. One thing I did want to say, when I hit flag E on my keyboard, instead of bringing me to my computer, it brings me to something called libraries. Downloads, my documents, my pictures, my music, my videos. Essentially, the user's uh, C window, or C user's username folder here while all your stuff is. But then you can get to my computer from there and it looks pretty much just like Vista. So, um, gotta finish up here. Thanks for watching and please watch the other Windows 7 videos.